G-men, hard-riding, fast-shooting, government secret service men of the Old West, working undercover on dangerous special assignments, courageous, resourceful fighters for law and order. The Cowboy G-Man in California Bullets, starring Russell Hayden as Pat Gallagher and Jackie Coogan as Tony Crockett. California, America's golden state. On January 24th, 1848, gold was discovered at Sutter's Creek, the greatest strike in the history of the world. Raw gold was so plentiful and coined money so scarce that the U.S. Treasury at one time operated 14 branch mints in the gold country. In 1870, the director of the San Francisco Mint discovered that gold coins from the branch mint at Mount Ophir assayed less than three-fourths gold content. The situation was so serious that government agent Pat Gallagher and his partner Stoney Crockett were assigned to investigate. Their orders were sent from San Francisco to Sacramento by river steamer. Pardon me. Here comes the captain. Captain Walker? Yes. My name's Gallagher, sir. This is my partner, Crockett. Howdy. How do you do? Do you have an envelope for us? Well, yes, I do, but I'll have to see your identification first. Right here, sir. Good enough? Thanks. Well, I suppose like everyone else who comes to California, you gentlemen will be doing some prospecting. Oh, yeah, uh, we're looking for gold, of course, that in a way. So can you tell me where the Sacramento Mint is? Well, that's the easiest way. Well, yes, it's down the street, about three blocks. You'll see a sign on the door. Thanks, Captain. Bon voyage. What? That's French. French. Tony. Yeah, I'm all right. Just knocked the wind out of me. Did you get the orders? No, I've got them. Boy, we sure got a real welcome in Sacramento. You sure did. Well, come on, let's head for the men. We finally got to the mint and met Marie Beaumont, the confidential assistant to the deputy mint director, Walter Beardsley. For some reason, Beardsley seemed frightened. You're government agents? You didn't know it? Why, of course not. And I suppose you didn't know anything about those two fellows that jumped us down by the dock. Why, certainly not. You recognize this gold piece, Mr. Beardsley? Why, yes, it's one of ours. Mount Oprah branch stamping. That's right. You also know that only assay is 68% gold? Yes, I know it. You didn't report it? No, I had hoped to be able to clear up the trouble myself before it was discovered. I've already fired two assayers from Mount Ophir. Did that do it? No. The last minnings were of lower gold percentage than the earlier ones. You're going backwards. No, I'm sorry, Mr. Birdsley. But I've got a federal warrant for your arrest. Oh, no. I'm afraid we're going to have to use it. Any evidence turns up to prove that you're innocent, you'll be released. No, you don't, Scott. I don't care who you are. You're not going to arrest a fine man like Mr. Beasley. Marie, please. You're making a mistake, miss. Yeah, just because we arrested him doesn't mean he's guilty. This will make it even worse for him. But you shouldn't do this. Don't get every break. We promise. Stoney, get her gun. We'll forget all about this. Mr. Beasley? I'm going to get the best lawyer in Sacramento. She's always been loyal, a little bit too loyal. Mr. Birdsley, you said that you fired the last two assayers at the Mount Ophir Mint. That's right. And you want a chance to clear your name? I'll do anything. All right, sit down and write a letter. Appoint my partner, the new assayer at the Branch Mint, and sign it. Me? I don't understand. If you're innocent, it'll help prove it. But if you're guilty... No. I'm not afraid of that. 
What name are we going to use? Well, how about uh, Nate McDougal? That's a clever name. You know, I've always wanted to have a job where I could coin money. This is your big chance, Tony. Two L's. Close enough. Stay right where you are. Now, just who are you and what do you want? You look like you're getting ready to hold off an army. Are you going to tell me who you are or do I have to... All right. Maybe this will do it. To whom it may concern, this will introduce Nate McDougal who will immediately assume the duties of a sayer at the Mount Ophir Branch Mint. Signed, Walter Beardsley. So, you're the new assayer. That's right. Nate McDougal, at your service. Mm-hmm. You must be uh, Gaffney, the head guard. Well, I hope you last longer than the other two. What did they do? Start taking a few souvenirs? I don't know. One day they were working, next day they were gone. Well, I suppose you'll want to be looking the place over, huh? Sure. Come on. Well, here's the setup. The miners bring their dust in here. You weigh and assay it. Then the miner is paid off in brand new gold pieces. Any chance of taking home a couple of samples? My assistant, Al Tetlow, and myself stand watch around the clock. We search each man as he goes off duty. What about you and Tetlow? Same thing. We search each other in the presence of a witness. Well, I guess I better get to work. You'll find the operations chart over there on the wall. There's an apron. That's fine. You not operate an alloy furnace? Are you kidding? I can do more tricks with that than a monkey can with a coconut. Well, it's all yours. Well, I might not be the world's best to sayer, but I've made sure of one thing. The coins I made would have enough gold in them. Made me wonder how my predecessors or anybody else could get away with anything. That walk in Arsenal, Gaffney watched me every second. Those new coins sure looked pretty when they came from the stamping machine. And Pat could be sure these were all right, because I'd made them myself. I sure do. They're pretty, aren't they? Yes, they're very nice. Do you mind if I use your balance? Not at all. There it is. Thank you. This one was minted in San Francisco. Are they all right? No. They're still short. What are you going to do? I'm going to head for Mount Ophir right now. Now things were really complicated. Even with my partner planted in the mint as an undercover man, the coin still came out half full of lead. It was becoming a mystery. But the solution had to be at Mount Ophir.
Sign, can't you? It also says no admittance. Why all the guns? We're short-handed around here. Everybody in the country knows how much gold we've got in the safe. Can't be too careful. Well, then you must be the mint guards. Gaffney and Tetlow. That's right. Who are you? My name's Gallagher. Government agent. Government agent, huh? What are you doing up here? You got a man working up here by the name of Nate McDougall, know him? Sure, he's the new assayer here, working inside right now. Good. I'd like to talk to him, all right? Go right ahead. Thanks. That's him. Hey, McDougal. Yeah? Fella here wants to talk to you. He's a government agent. Well, I'm busy. What do you want? Did you mint these? Yeah. Pretty, ain't it? You know, there's nothing as pretty as new minted money. Then you're under arrest. Under arrest? What for? Too much gold in them? No, these coins are short-weighted. Too bad, McDougal. You must be out of your mind. I weighed them up exactly. Come on, get your hat. Let's get out of here. What's the idea, Pat? Here, make a break for it and I'll see you later. You asked for it. Yeah, I'm all right. You saw him make a break. Why didn't you get him? Well, I... Uh... Never mind. I'll get him myself. get you out of there so I could talk to you. I don't want to be suspicious. Oh, well then that uh, stuff about the coins being short weight, it wasn't for real. You're wrong, Stoney. They are. Oh, now wait a minute, Pat. It couldn't be. I measured them up and minted them myself. Was anybody there when you did it? Yeah, just that uh, big guard, the fella Gaffney, but he didn't come within a mile of me while I was measuring up. Tell me exactly how'd you do it. Well, the same thing. I, I melted the gold, poured it, weighed it, and minted it. I know it couldn't be short. Well, there's only one thing I can figure out. What's that, Pat? You've turned crooked. Yeah, I... Oh, thank you very much. Tell me, Stoney, who's on guard at night? Uh, that fella Tetlow. Gaffney ship. Well, we're gonna visit that mint tonight, and I'm gonna need your help. What's the plan? I'll meet you on the west side of the mint. Got it.
riding up like that, I might have shot you. I have to bring you these. Steamship tickets? On the River Queen. Leaving Sacramento day after tomorrow. Why should we leave now? You'll be walking right into a federal prison if you stay here. Haven't you met the two government investigators? I met one investigator, Gallagher. He has a partner, a bald-headed man. Nate McDougall, the new assayer. He must have been working undercover. See? Now you know why we're going to be on the River Queen when it sails. All right. I'll pick up the last haul tonight. You won't take any chances. Don't worry. Everything's all set. I'd better get back before they start looking for me. Marie, wait. What for? No time for that now. Stoney and I were staked out that night a short distance from the Mount Ophir Mint. Tetlow was the guard on duty inside, but Gaffney was nowhere to be seen. Hey, what's that? An explosion? I don't think so, Stoney. You make a commotion. Draw the guard outside for a couple of minutes. When I get to the window, I'll give you the signal. Government agent or not, I had no authority in the United States branch mint, but I had to find out what caused that mysterious flash of light. There was dust on the floor of the furnace that smelled familiar, and a gadget under the bench that didn't seem to belong in a mint. something else, an empty cartridge case. Stand right where you're at, Lester. Now turn around and raise your hands slow like. Trying to rob the men, huh? I reckon you know that you're going up for a long time. I wouldn't bet on it. Does this belong to you? Hey, Pat! I'm sorry about that guard, but he fooled me. He ran around the back door. That's all right, Stoney. Did you find out what you're looking for? I think so. Take a look at that. It's just an empty cartridge case. Look at the base. No firing pin mark. Hasn't been fired. It might add up to something. Yeah, it might be the reason why the guard didn't plug me. I was wondering why I didn't even hear one shot. It'll be getting light soon, Stoney. I want you to ride to Sacramento. What for? I want you to get Birdsley out of jail and bring him back here. Handcuffed? Yeah. You still think he's guilty, huh? I don't know, but we'll soon find out. Look, Pat. I... Fast. Fast. We took care of Mr. Gallagher.
still out. If you hit anybody else that hard, you're going to ruin your gun. I wish I could have shot him instead. shoot anybody either, now just don't try anything funny. Good work, Stoney. Here's the gun. Where's Jaffney? He's inside. I just don't understand all this. Sorry we had to put you under arrest, Mr. Birdsley. We wanted the gold thieves to think they were safe. Oh, I see. But you're sure that the gold was stolen? Right. By this man and his partner. But how? I'll show you how. Here, go ahead, shoot me. Hey, wait a minute, Pat. Hold it, Stoney. Go ahead. It's loaded. It's just chance. I just don't understand this. Here, let me show you. It takes gunpowder to fire a shell. Yeah, they dumped all the gunpowder in the furnace. But why the empty cartridge? They replaced this lead bullet with a solid gold one. You get it? They molded gold bullets right out of the furnace. Then they dropped the lead slugs in the melted pot of gold. That's why your coins come out short weight. Then my two assayers were innocent. No, your three assayers. <laughs> I found the bullet mold under the bench near the furnace. Get it, will you, Stoney? Well, sure. Well, Mr. Birdsley, I guess you'd like to have the pleasure of tearing up this warrant of your arrest. I certainly would. <laughs> hey, Pot! Daphne's gone. What? I'll bet this joker can tell us where he's headed. What about it? All right, I'll make a deal with you. There'll be no deals. Tell us what you know, and maybe we can help you. Is that the best you can do? That's it. All right, the River Queen leaves Sacramento today at noon. They'll be on it. They? Yeah, Gaffney and Marie. Marie is going? Yes, I think you'll find out Marie is married to him. Here, you take him into town. Come on, Stoney. I'm sure he'll be here. I'm sorry we can't hold the queen for anybody, not even President Grant himself. Marie. Thank goodness you made it. But well, what happened? I'll explain when we get in the boat. Come on, let's go. You're not going anywhere, Kathy. One more step and I'll let you have it. I forgot you loaded your gun with solid gold bullets. Oh, no, you don't. Good thing he saved your life. If you'd hit that water, you're going right to the bottom. Why? Can't he swim? I don't know. But he forgot he was wearing a money belt full of gold. You know, mister, either way you were sunk. Take it away, Captain. Come on, Stody, let's get him out of here. Come on, Marie. So they ride on, these rugged cowboy G-men who helped Uncle Sam bring law and order to the great American West without glory but with only the inner peace that comes with the knowledge of a job well done by these all-American cowboys.